Hello everybody, I'm Gina Taylor from West Virginia University Extension and today we're going to be talking about different types of canners. There are basically two types of canners. There's a hot water bath canner and a pressure canner. And a hot water bath canner looks like this. It's used for high acid foods like fruits and fruit juices, jellies and jams, salsas, pickled items, and tomatoes with acid added. It gets up to 212 degrees, which of course is the boiling point of water. Um, this is a pressure canner. It's used for low acid foods um, that don't have enough acid to fight off bacteria very well. Low acid foods include things like meat and seafood and poultry and soups and different types of stocks and basically any recipe that would put together a high acid food such as tomatoes with a low acid food like meat. So for example, spaghetti sauce. Um, the pressure canner, the, what makes it different from this is that it gets up to 240 degrees um, because of the gasket and because of the pressure gauge. Um, so that's very important because 240 degrees is the temperature at which you can destroy the bacteria called Clostridium botulinum, which is known to cause botulism. So it's very important that you, you can any low acid foods in a pressure canner. Now both types of canners have something in common. They both have a lid and a rack. So this is the rack for the hot water bath canner. And this is the rack for a pressure canner. And both of these racks are very important because they help keep the jars of food off the direct heat of your stove. And so it will prevent things like breakage of your jars. So it's very important that you use the rack that is in the canner. The pressure canner also has some other features. Um, it has a pressure regulator and that could be either a, what they call a weighted gauge or a jiggler, probably you've heard of, or a, a gauge that has numbers on it. And uh, those are really important because that's how you know exactly how to can your foods in a pressure canner. Um, they also have <clears throat> a vent pipe, which is this, an air vent or a cover lock, this, a locking mechanism, which is how you get your lid to stay on. Sometimes it's a bracket like this one, and sometimes it has little handles that come up and screw in. Um, and it also has a gasket or a ceiling ring. Okay, it also has what is called an overpressure plug, which is right here. And this pops up in case there's too much pressure in your canner. I know a lot of people are reluctant to use a pressure canner because they remember from their childhood a time when their parents were canning and maybe the canner uh, spewed out a lot of stuff from the top or you know maybe exploded but there are a lot of safety features in canners now so you don't really have to worry that much about it but you should keep track of your canner and watch it as it, it's canning don't just leave the room and spend an hour watching television so keep up with it um, you should also really this is very important when you have the type that has a gauge on it you should make sure that you have it inspected each year at your local extension office. And you should also check your vent pipe for blockages. You can just hold it up to the light and look right through it and make sure you can see the light. And you should make sure that this vent cover lock moves freely. And that's pretty much it for our canners today. Thanks for watching. Like and follow for more safe canning information and happy canning.